Okay, hey, I got a guest on here with me today from the forum. Uh, cool what guy. What up, everybody? I'm cool guy. Like Nigel has very kindly invited me on because I did a, I did a let's play of, the, of this game like about a gorillion years ago, and I still I still fucking love it. Like I keep telling my community I need to go back uh, go back and stream through uh, stream through it again, just well, because it's to. it's been long enough that that it, it needs another replay. It's like Diablo two in that way. What uh, what build did you do? I'll go ahead and load it. Yeah, sure. Uh, I I did a I did a fairly pure warrior the uh, the time I uh, the time I went through. Like I would dip into. Yeah, oh, that's magic pretty much what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So this was on the level load, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, I have like strength almost maximized, and then yeah, we got some basic spells like fire trap. Free fire trap's kind of useless except for spiders. You, yeah, you you got a little bit more magic than uh, than I ever went into. The best like, one. I did, I the best used, one is I charm. Just I think. Scrolls of charm. Yeah. yeah. Telekinesis is fun. Flame arrow TK is... is hilarious. Yeah. And these uh, fireball is really cool too, but I don't have enough mana for it. I believe it costs more than twenty. Uh, yeah, yeah. You need man. Uh, you need. Well, I mean, it. One cast of a fireball is, if my memory serves me correctly, either twelve or, thir or thirteen mana. That is directly okay, off yeah. the top of my head. But in like in practical terms, you do need more uh, more mana to be able yeah. to use fireball effectively. Okay, it might be just a single cast. I just remember I had a lot of issues with it. And ultimately, fireball does not uh, does not uh, doesn't keep uh, keep pace with uh, with with a lot of the other options sim uh, simply because it does not do enough raw damage to affect most of the enemies in the game because a lot of the enemies in the game are like that goblin you uh, you just ganked and that they're they're de uh, they're demon blooded characters and have yeah. have some resistance to fire they have resistance they. to fire that's why the fire yeah. sword is useless against these guys so you can do like a direct assault on this goblin camp or you can do a little bit of a trick here <laughs> never not use the rope bow the rope bow is always incredible you can get around a little bit the only thing with the, <clears throat> the daggers is every time you take them out, there's like a weird screen effect. Oh, okay. a little bit distracting. Goblin. I am sure whatever these goblins were talking about will not affect us in the slightest. Nah. Oh, here's some uh, water cooler talk. <laughs> I really appreciate the, the mental image of goblins around a water cooler, just like lean, uh, leaning on, on it, give, uh, giving themselves manly gestures. How about that new chief? Clean fingernails. Checks own fingernails self-consciously. <laughs> Donk. Man, like, like I, I, I had forgotten exactly how uh, how how much hardcore pumps up enemy health. Yeah. Like I'm so used to playing this game, uh, this game on hardcore, and you're just like basically do, uh, doing one one power attack with with these things, and that's that's more or less GG for these goblins. And I'm just like, man, that's just getting warmed up. Yeah, I, I've been this game on hardcore, but we decided for this play for it to not do that because uh, there'll that be too much saves coming. Insane. Like, like I'm, I mostly only did it because uh, because I am a challenge addict and I, I don't have any excuse for myself. Yeah. Orc, or or or. I just didn't want to do a ton of editing. Free you, Rog. So yeah, this this up. one, if you free him, he does eventually attack you. Unlike the goblins on the ship who end up being like allied to you. I, I would I was amazed when you uh, you were just you were just like yeah no these guys are fine because I, I distinctly remember them turning on me every single freaking time. It might be like a patch related thing. Either that or just I'm really careless with uh, with my fire and like it's these, probably what they, it is. they take yeah. one uh, one damage from you they go uh, they go hostile or some crap. I remember he also used to take the sword with him. Like I think the scripting is screwed up in this area. That but... scripting definitely busted. I know for a fact that he is supposed to take that cleaver, and um, if you have already picked up the cleaver, he will continue uh, continue to go out there barehanded, and will usually get uh, get absolutely stuffed because of it. Is he already dead? Uh, looks like it. 
that was that was that that was not the uh, the finest orky specimen we had. No. Neither brawn nor brain. I was just you wondering if you walking by those hay bales. By the way, don't you know that the hay bales are the strongest things in the game? Really? Mightiest oh, you can throw them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow. It's, bas it's basically a barrel that uh, that, that that doesn't ever works. break. Yeah. Never breaks. So that hay bale, that hay bale will will topple kingdoms for you. Oh, uh, nice ricochet on that. <laughs> Goodbye, you asshole! <laughs> yeah, this is... I can see why this is so OP. It is... It, like, it is the strongest. I oh, remember. no! 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 I'll, I'll go get it. Wow, it's, al it's already all bloody. I love it. Yes. Yes, it's already that, is, marked. that is another reason why it is the strongest, is because it will absolutely pick up blood textures, and those blood textures will not go away easily. <laughs> As long as you lift it, you can see pretty well. Yeah, that shield won't help you. It won't help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pay like, hey, Bale God. is too strong. S T R O N K is truly, truly uh, worthy of the meme. <laughs> I like how it like leaves cuts on them and shit too. Like it's not. It, does. it has like, like a really good edge on it. All, all I'm saying is that somebody, somebody who, uh, somebody who played this game, like absolutely worked on a farm at some point because hay <laughs> will do that to you. Oh my god! So it's ba uh, baling hay is one of, one of those things like you expect it to be hard. You expect it to be that it be be but work it's also and everything. Dangerous. You don't expect to get your shit cut up on, on it. And you know, obviously, there, there's good ways to avoid getting your shit cut up. Right. But. You know, like, like you, you don't be know, you don't know what those those things are the first time you bail hay. And I didn't know that. <laughs> I, 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 I went, I went to uh, middle school in Nebraska, and <laughs> summer summer jobs on there were detasseling corn and bailing hay. Ah. That is that is how how you you made you made your money. To you know, go to go to camp or whatever the fuck you wanted to do when you were twelve. Both of them were miserable jobs. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Look at this asshole! He's jumping around like a chicken with his head cut off. He doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> he saw he saw the hay bale there. He has no excuses. Well, maybe they're like me. They just don't know yet. <laughs> They're just not aware yet of how fucking uh this is the destroyer of worlds right here. It is definitely the destroyer of worlds. It is even better than the rock. Like yeah. a rock is al is also It's also really also strong. Amazing because uh, because it will it will mess with people and um uh, it, uh because it'll mess with people uh, with people where it's hard and never break. Right. But the the thing is, is that it's it's hard to aim the rock. Like like its flight trajectory. It goes high. Is really weird. It goes yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah. You have to you have to like basically look down at somebody's chode just uh, just to hit them in the face. Yeah. But the uh, the the hay bale, its its flight characteristics are exactly that of a barrel, but it will never break. I had... everything you wanted. I had something, a, a really cool way to kill them to show you, if I can actually get it to work. Well, I guess this is technically not killing them, but... Why is my stamina regenerating so slow? I don't know. Don't I have the, uh... Looking, looking okay to me. Is it always this slow? Uh. I mean... That's about what I re what I remember. Question mark. But like I said, I haven't played this game in like five. Okay, years I'm gonna kill one point. of these guys. Another one. What are they doing? Hey, come back here, man. Bosh pit. A <laughs> power attack. Just, I just sort of fillets that dude from yeah. ass to Atlas. What is he doing? He's ah. Okay, I'll just explain. What I wanted to do was basically lock them in the secret room and then close it after them, and that does oh. work. Oh, that does oh, work. That is, that's pretty brutal, dude. Yeah. I I approve of what you're doing there. Yeah, but they they're not cooperating with me. What about that? Actually, let me come back down. Let's see. If... 
Oh, that was fucking dangerous as hell, but that's what we do here. I mean, what, what you can what you can do, if you can pull uh, pull them over there, just, just continu uh, continuously kick them and, and stay in uh, stay in their face. Yeah. You could do it. Uh, you could do it that way. That's how I saved. Uh, that's how I saved Duncan. Sort of. You actually saved Duncan. Oh yeah. No. You're like, a fucking okay. hero, man. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, I am not. No, I am not. I'd like, like, this is a total spoiler for my, like, seven-year-old Let's Play, but basically... Yeah, I don't think it matters at this point. It does not. But, like, like what I did is in, in the level, the level where he is ostensibly supposed to die, um, what you do is, like, once you get control of Sarah, you kick the man, and that breaks his, uh, his scripting for a moment. It gives you just enough time to lock, pick a, a nearby, a nearby locked door. And um, when you uh, when you do that, you then use a uh, use an ice spell to uh, to slip him up, like just basically right in front of him. He'll, right. he'll fall flat on his ass, and then you can while he is flat on his ass, you can kick him until he goes into the locked room, and then you just close uh, you just close the door. He won't open the door. Ah. Uh. And uh, if you if you do it efficiently enough, if you kick him too many times, he can either die or go off. But if you if you get him into the into the room by like the third kick, he won't go hostile, and he will be totally safe. So you can totally save Duncan. Yeah, I'm just fucking around here. This is not working. <laughs> Little slime balls keep basically respawning. So you know, at this point, you're just you're just chilling out. Do they really respawn forever? I no, I I don't know that uh, that they even are respawning rather than <laughs> uh, rather than just migrating in from dark corners. Oh, there, are, there are certain areas of the game where um, enemies will respawn for quite uh, for quite some time, but I don't think there's any spot where they will actually respawn forever. Like the zomb uh, the zombies in uh, when uh, when you were. When you were picking up the uh, the spiritual stones or whatever, right? Um, they they claw their way out of the out of out of the floor. Like the they will keep you there for a good like three or four minutes or something like that if you if you never um, if you if you don't move on. But they will eventually stop. Okay, that's my experience. All right, well let's just pretend he's alive. There we go. Good enough. So that that's how that's done. The, ne the next people, the next people who take this place are just gonna have to deal with the unholy stench coming from the uh, coming from. Yeah, the imagine wall. if you open that like two years from now. I mean, that's basically the, the basically the uh, secret ending of the Cask of Amontillado by uh, Edgar Allan Poe. You read that one? I might have in school. I mean, I read a lot of classical literature in school. Cask of Amon Amontillado is the uh, the one where he basically lures the, uh, this one dude this one dude down to like a secret wi uh, winery or something like that, and then he uh, he chains him to out of the wall and then uh, and then uh, puts a bunch of bricks in, uh, up in there to ba to bury him alive. Ooh. Then you know you basic you were you were effectively doing the same sort of thing. It's just that you you. You are way too busy to actually put the brickwork up there yourself. Right. It reminds me of, I think this is also from classical literature, there was like a story about a woman who kept her dead husband in her bed with her after he after she killed him. There's a number of, sto of stories like that. I don't think Poe wrote, uh, wrote, the, uh, wrote any it, of them. But it sounds like something Poe would write. But it's it exactly just... the sort of shit that Poe would write. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he did on that particular occasion. Yeah, I forget the offer. I don't think it was a very well-known one, but it, when I was a kid, I was like, wow, that's, that's something. It's fucked up. It's fucked and up, she, man. And she, and she called him her Rose, because you know how roses you like keep in books to save yep. for later? So she, he was like her Rose. <laughs> that she could keep forever. It's fine. Okay. But the, I, I've all, I've always laughed at exa exactly how how agilely uh, Sarah swims in fucking full plate mail armor in this yeah. game. It's like yeah. yeah, no, that only weighs about fifty pounds. Yeah. It's kind of rare that it that it changes how you move. It would be a colossal pain in the ass if it did. So you know, I'm not faulting the game. Uh, the game. It's just some uh, something that makes me laugh up my sleeve. Yeah, make it like you have permanent stone skin armor. I think that's oh, where the worm buddy. comes out. Oh, yeah. buddy, here it comes. 
You know, let's put on our Ring of the Phoenix because it's really easy to die to this guy. This is, this is the good shit. This is the good shit. He comes right like around here. I'll oh, quit pumping the wall. Oh, oh shit! All of a sudden, all of a sudden wow! Like it's a whole bunch of bass in her voice. <laughs> yeah, she gets really scared. Like, oh god, no! I think you have to stay on the original one. Get away! Back. Okay. Oh yeah, man. You can get, uh, you can basically just uh, just jump straight uh, straight through that, except for ah. you you have to, you have to wait to the count of I believe two. For that, uh, the pillar that, uh, that's right next to the giant worm to start falling. But in general, if you're sprinting, you can, uh, Just you can do it. vault through, uh, through, uh, through that entire area relatively get quickly. Once you get the rhythm, it's really, it's really quite simple. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's quite sucky. a rhythm, though. I, I'm not messing with you on that. So, it might actually help to, uh, to use a speedrunner's uh, tactic here, um, yeah. which is to... Start, sprint, uh, start sprinting, and then hop, and then let go of the sprint button, because that okay. allows you to keep a high, consistent speed without uh, without burning stamina. Okay. But, well, I got it regardless. Uh, not, not actually required at all. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a scrub way to do it. Let's put our antidote into our bar. anti dude. Where must stamina go? Yeah, take a, bra a break here, and then also don't uh, don't forget to use your demon form here. Your demon form actually oh. makes you about a fifteen percent uh, percent faster. I guess V, right? Yep. I so rarely use it. It's it, it's definitely something you want uh, you want to avoid, particularly on hardcore, because it makes it impossible to uh, to um, to defend yourself. But yeah, no, it it is absolutely perfect for this section because uh, because you can you uh, you can outpace the worm. See, but like you just saw it over, over to your. Uh, to your you, you go was, you go around the corner. You don't do what I do. Yeah, did. yeah, you can't you can't go uh, go through that, uh, that last that last one. But beyond that, like he's too busy spawning to actually attack you if you're if you on your demon form. That didn't do any damage to me. Like the crap next to me absorbed it. Nice. Yeah, this section always embarrasses me because it shows what a scrub I am. I remember the I remember the first time I played through this game that uh, that for uh, that first time you uh, you see him straight on where where you started the section where you just loaded the game. Yeah. For a, I waited there for about ninety seconds the first time I played this game trying to fi uh, find a better opening and there wasn't one. There's never there's never a better opening. Yeah, he just stays there, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he just, he will, he will lunge at you, and then he will, um... Get over the box, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god, the box! Stop. Box, step! Step! Turn, buddy! Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, I, I know, no I know what to do. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. And then dodge, and then go, and then just hope he doesn't bite me. It's fine, Please. it's fine, you've got this. There we go. No problem. Ooh, only died like what, four times? It's cool. P.S. I was very happy to see that you have not taken any critical hit. You have taken zero critical hit, <laughs> and that is the objectively correct thing to do. Yeah, I mean, what a. Mindless it burn. doesn't really All benefit do you much, does it? I mean, like, only up to four percent. The, the, the weapons it, unlo it unlocks are actually pre uh, pretty cool, but you know, the, the rely relying on crits in, the, in this game is is kind uh, kind of a loser's a loser strategy even on normal, and then particularly as you start play uh, playing on harder difficulties and hardcore, if you're ever 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 trading blows with an enemy and not figuring out some uh, some way to dumpster them almost immediately. You are right, so why would you? Yeah, why would you want it? Yeah, no, just just don't. Just stop. It's it's not it is not in your best interest. Oh man. Spider Come on, showed, let's go. Spider there we go. Showed, <laughs> going straight up. I think that's the most I killed. Face and blowing the load. <laughs> A lot of people complain about these spiders like they ah, I hate these oh! more. <laughs> 
people say the most disgusting thing about it is the fact that they jump at your face. That is, uh, that is my primary objection to spiders. Like, I do not have any sort of arachnophobia. My, my trigger is heights. I'm not okay with heights. I am therefore not okay with a fair bit of this game, by the way, so... Oh, true. Let, let's, let's throw that out there, but, um... Like, I, even, even I am just, just like, DUDE! Every time, every time one of those things lunges at me and shoves my eyeballs full of spider chode. Spider chode. Dude, that is exactly what uh, what it is. Like, like I'm tempted to go back and play this game a little bit, just so I can I can get, that's uh, what's get a stopping screenshot. You. What happens when ah. uh, when he leaps in your face? I get the like the things you're killing now are called face huggers, but I I, I submit that the spiders have a better face hug attack, or at least a more true to the aliens original. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's kind of weird they call these the face huggers, like right? You know, like, I don't really see it. Do nothing to hug your face. They're more, more like a tentacle thing. They're a floating testicle, where yeah. where the where the uh, the ball sack hair is just, <laughs> just it just came off. Tentacles, yeah, yeah. Like, like that. That's the way I've always looked at these. They're floating testicles, and the unshaven hairs are their uh, are their tentacles. Ah, tentacle testicle. Kind of, kind of evolved a little bit since the early days of testicles. <laughs> evolved testicle. <laughs> I love Advanced that. testicles. <laughs> well, you know the girl has to have something to hold on to, right? Oh my God! Advanced testicle design. <laughs> Advanced testicle design. That is that is that is deep. God this took his hardcore philosophy we we are getting into right now. Yeah, God took his time with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked Gallagher's uh, take on it. Just like, uh, like, I mean, you you look at a giraffe and you have to ask if that is the work of a serious artist or if God was just there saying, "Let there be a horse with a really long neck." <laughs> <laughs> just for the lulls, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Someone taking the piss. Was someone I, taking like, the piss? I, I, I could, I, I could dig it. Like, like, I could dig a god like that. I would drink a beer with a god like that. <laughs> In the water. Good you go. night. Oh, <laughs> first into the wall and then into the water. <laughs> uh, Got the double combo. Absolutely brilliant. I don't think I need the robes. I mean, unless, just, well, I would I don't know why you would bother with the robes. You know, just to carry them around with me, I suppose. Looting. I've been playing so many games where F is the use key that I keep forgetting that F is the kick key. <laughs> that just means that uh, that, uh, that you kick more often, which is never a sin in this game. O never. The only problem is the stamina shit. Eh. <sighs> It will it will come back and and in the meantime you have you have properly experienced the kick that is uh, that is in this game. Yeah, I've been playing Mord Howl and the kick in that game is disappointing. God, I need to get Mord Howl. Like I keep putting I keep putting it off because the, I'm the later you get it, the more people will be good. So you're in trouble if you keep putting it off. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely addicted to Crusader Kings 2 right now though. Ah. Like, yeah, like, I know I all am, about that. I am hip deep, not just in in a in a playthrough that I'm streaming on on my on my channel right uh, right now, but also just uh, just like single player games that I am just totally consumed with. I'm just like, man, I'm sure Mordhau is amazing, but I just I, 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 I need I need I need to smite more heathens. It's what kind of playthrough are you are you doing? I, I remember I tried the holy holy what you call it? Holy Fury. Holy Fury as a uh, Prussian, so I was in Remova, and their religion is basically Druidism. That Druidism? yeah, that is that is a defensive fla uh, flavor of paganism. Yeah. Which I mean, did, I would go so far as to argue that uh, that is the be uh, the better flavor of pa of paganism. Yeah. Um, but they are they are super good if you if you can get uh, get them uh, get them. Um, Reform, but they are one of the hardest. They're one of the hardest ones to reform. 
uh, just because their their holy sites are all over the place and they're frequently held. Yeah, one of them by. is is in like Ger in nor northern Germany. So like the the uh... and it's hotly contested by uh, by both uh, by both the Vikings and the Catholics. And honestly, of the two, I'd rather fight the Vikings. The Catholics are absolutely fucking insane with holy fury. Mm. Like the only the only hope you have as a non-Catholic is that is that. Um, raiding vikings or something yeah. like that crash their moral authority by uh by raiding a, wh a whole bunch of that's whole basically bunch what of i've been doing is temples. i've just been well i started in the charlemagne era and charlemagne okay. was a total loser who didn't even have the money to coronate himself so christendom has been fucked and but also yeah the game so in, seven, in 769 there's at least a there's at least half a chance that christendom will get will get screwed just because when the Viking era starts in 800, um, the Vikings will uh, will start plundering the nor uh, the northern coast of France, and if yeah. if that area is not is not uh, organized, then they'll crash moral authority just by all of the temples they loot. So, yeah, no that that's that's honestly that's honestly your be your best chance. But friggin' High moral authority Catholics are absolutely frightening. The ones that uh, the the to answer your question though the the ones that I have been doing, I did a uh, tribal Muslim to to merchant republic run, which ba uh, basically owns the entirety of Africa, and that's pretty fun. Um, then tribal Catholic Irish dude to emperor of all the British Isles and like in like 30, 25, 30 years. That's also pretty incredible.